What happened to Charlotte on General Hospital? Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like. Up since her birth, Charlotte Cassidine has caused nothing but difficulty for the staff at General Hospital. We are here to dispel any confusion that may still exist among some admirers over the child's complex past, including questions about her parents' identities and origins. Scarlett Fernandez, a teenage actor, debuted as Charlotte in October 2016 and remained on screen as the evil girl as she matured until announcing her departure from the serial opera in December 2021. A million claim debuted in the role on December 21, but Anna Sofia Bianchi assumed the part on April 10, 2023, when GH aired. But that was only for that one episode in July 2023. Viewers were taken aback to see Fernandez reprise her role as Charlotte for a major new plot. The first view of Charlotte came in September 2016, when Claudette Boulieu told Nathan West that she had given birth to a daughter not long after their breakup. But there was still a chance that Dr. Griffin Munro, her other former lover, might be her child's father. Nathan insisted on seeing his daughter when a DNA test proved he was Charlotte's father. But Claudette was terrified to tell anybody where the girl was. Claudette, when prodded, said that she was attempting to shield Charlotte from one of her former partners. Cassidine Valentin. However, it eventually came to light that Claudette had just served as Claudette's surrogate and that Valentin was Charlotte's real father. Since Lulu Spencer had laid the egg, Lulu and Valentin were Charlotte's biological parents. Because of their friendship, Charlotte was overjoyed when Nana Reeves wed Valentin and took on the role of stepmother. Especially since, despite later proof to the contrary, Valentin had declared that Claudette had passed away. Lulu revealed to Charlotte that she was, in fact, her biological mother when the kid became distressed over missing her mother. This didn't sit well with Charlotte and just served to aggravate and perplex her further. Lulu had Diane present her side of the argument, and Valentin hired Nora Buchanan to file a lawsuit for custody of Charlotte. The judge decided that Lulu would have supervised visiting rights and Valentin would have sole custody. Charlotte eventually came to embrace Lulu as her mother over time, but Valentin almost destroyed everything when he attempted to elude the harsh consequences of the law and took his daughter with him. As Valentin was on his way to prison, Dante Falconeri and Lulu were given temporary custody of Charlotte, who grew up with them and got to meet her grandfather, Rocco, and brother, Charlotte, Olivia. Valentin made an effort to make amends and came to an agreement with Lulu so that they could share custody after he was released from prison. When Nina broke up with Valentin and wouldn't accept him back, Charlotte was saddened, but she gave the young child assurances that she would always be a part of her life. Her actions at school, where she was verbally abusing her cousin Aiden Spencer and even showing disrespect for adults, could be explained by all that familial strife. Much turmoil among Charlotte's guardians resulted from Lulu blaming Nina for her attitude. When Valentin was able to win Nina back and they decided to tie the knot, the girl did start to cheer back up. She met Sasha, her older sister, as well, not aware that the latter was faking being Nina's daughter. He pretended to be her father's bodyguard after spotting the presumed dead Nicholas Cassidine prowling around Windermere. Later, she attempted to convince a doubting Rocco of his existence by plunging into the water at the docks. When Dustin pulled her out of the water and her bodyguard failed to appear. After Charlotte received medical attention at the hospital, Lulu and Valentin got into another custody dispute. Charlotte, who insisted she didn't have an imaginary companion, showed Laura a picture of her supposed to be dead son. Who was aware that the New bodyguard. Year's Eve festivities were a ruse to depose Valentin. Charlotte was delighted that Nina would once more take on the role of her mother. Once further devastated, the girl started misbehaving against the adults in her environment by, for example, leaving her school bag for Jax to trip over. And to get even with Ava, the little miscreant smuggled a snake into her purse during Violet's birthday celebration. Charlotte reacted angrily to Valentin's attempt to distance herself from her for her own benefit, accusing Nina of being to blame for everything. Additionally, Charlotte's parents decided to cooperate in order to raise her more effectively when she confided in Lulu about how she felt about Valentin's treatment.
As Brooklyn Quartermain was expecting his daughter in the spring of 2021, Charlotte moved into the Quartermain mansion with her father. Sadly, when it became apparent that he wasn't the baby daddy after all, they had to move back out by the end of the year. Even though Bailey wasn't actually Charlotte's sister, Charlotte did accompany her father on a visit so that she could give her the gift she had purchased. When Charlotte left for boarding school the next year, Valentin was concerned for his daughter because Victor Cassadine was using her as a bargaining chip to get him to follow his orders. After a while, Valentin was able to see his daughter, and with Laura's assistance, he was able to save her. But when her father vanished after they returned to Port Charles, Charlotte became concerned because she felt Victor was to blame. Luckily, Felicia took Charlotte to the safe home where Valentin was holed up. The two of them had a tearful reunion during which Valentin cautioned his daughter not to confront Victor directly ever again. When Dante brought Charlotte to see Lulu in July 2023, she talked to her about what had happened recently in her life and pleaded with her to return to them. Later, when she persuaded Dante to sell the house to Maxie instead of letting it remain empty where he and Lulu once lived, he did so. After Charlotte started hanging out with Jake Spencer, it came to light that she had broken into Anna Devane's hotel room at the Metro Court. Valentin had reason to believe that Charlotte had destroyed Anna's belongings and set her house on fire. Charlotte surreptitiously examined a tarot card deck Victor had given her, and in his letter, implored her to keep her father safe from Anna. Valentin's arrival at their new home made her very happy, but she wasn't too excited about Anna maybe moving in with them. Charlotte decided to speak with Kevin Collins at the hospital, despite her insistence that everything was okay. Following their conversation, he expressed concern about her behavior. The teenager broke into Maxie's leased apartment on Halloween by stealing her keys from Anna. Sadly, after Anna got home, she pulled her revolver on the intruder. When Charlotte turned around and brandished her flashlight, Anna mistakenly believed it to be a weapon and opened fire. Happily, Charlotte made it through, and after her recuperation, she persisted in her belief that Anna posed a threat to both Valentine and her. She denied setting fire to her house, even though she admitted to Nina that she had damaged Anna's hotel room and sprayed paint on her house. Charlotte became alarmed when Anna tried to see the girl and explain what had happened, and Valentine told Anna to leave. When Charlotte returned home, her father was shocked to learn that she had set Anna's house on fire because Victor had missled her. Later, Kevin spotted Charlotte appreciating a necklace Victor gave her that had formerly belonged to Helena and heard her refer to her scar as a battle wound. All of that, though, was abandoned when Robert Scorpio told Valentin, which Valentin found absurd, that the DA's office would not pursue charges against Charlotte if she agreed to community service, probation, and court-ordered therapy. But some sort of agreement must have been reached, for Valentin told Anna in April 2024 that Charla had gone back to boarding school in Switzerland in order to escape the commotion at Port Charles. When Charlotte surprised her father by coming home in July and saw him with Anna, he apologized to her for everything she had caused her to go through. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, General Hospital Update, and stay with us.